Hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough, day 17. So yes, <laughs> I was right that the last time was indeed 16, here we go. And this is the first time we haven't been starting out in that game room to play golf in like three parts. Hmm. Well then again, technically I am in a game room every part playing this, but details! Details. So this time I'm going to check out the quick play mode and see... Wally poopers! And see the poop. What is the scoop? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can basically choose anything you like, I guess, and certain conditions that you may like, but would, would it matter if you have different conditions if you're on, like, that to... Like... Can you make the holes giant on golf nights? Probably not. <laughs> uh, well, obviously it's gonna be one player, but... Okay, it's a max of two. Uh, it cannot be matched if it's one, two if it's not uh, two players. Standard Vintage Pro... Oh. Hmm... So you can't choose the clubs like you can in the story mode, I guess. Interesting. Uh, you can have the wind... Can't turn the wind completely off, but you can have it at weak. Uh, <laughs> it's got different vehicles for that. Uh, so, yeah, I, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. I guess maybe what I should do is... Because I don't, I don't want to neglect any modes here. So maybe what I should do is, like, play... One round on each course twice, but one on the easiest settings that I can think of, and then one on the hardest settings that I can think of. How about that? <laughs> so that'll be like eight more parts, okay? Okay, so let's get this started. Oh, maybe I should have changed... Well, I guess it doesn't matter if I'm gonna have everything as flat and as easy as possible. <laughs> Although I'll probably ch check all the club settings just to see what you get out of them. So anyway, first hole with ginormo holes, and I just realized I'm not playing as the main character. What the heck? What the heck? I'm a new girl. What? What is? What's going on here? <laughs> oh, I wonder if these are the upgraded well-worn woods, or if these are the regular well-worn woods. We're about to find out. I'm gonna go. Uh, no, that doesn't look any different in terms of curvature. I think. Right, actually, let's try going a little more extreme here. No, no, it doesn't really seem like it. Oh, and she's, she seems they have a natural draw, and I can straighten it out thusly. And I'll just stick to her natural shot, I guess. Anyway, anyway, so since basically the holes are ginormo, I am going to be seeing if I can get as many of chip-ins as a possible in a possible round that I can do. How does that sound? Oh, poopers. And I figure with that flat slope over there, it should be relatively easy to do so, too. Woo! Well, not quite. Oh, she's Joanne, not just player. Oh, oh. Players. Actually, I shouldn't say that. It is quite possible that the main character's name is indeed Player. Because remember, there is a Gary Player in real golf, so... <laughs> Who knows? It might very well be a reference for all we know. But anyway, let's see how... Oh, no, no, not that far, not that far! Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be put in the bunker, aren't I? Oh, and I notice I don't have any sort of uh, focus shot. Tee it up. <laughs> knock out. You know, the, the, the lie issues and stuff like that, so yeah, this might actually be more of a, a challenge than I would expect, even though I can choose the conditions. <laughs> Just wanted to hop in. Really? Too far? Oh no, and this is even worse! <laughs> Just pot, potted it right in the hole. If his hole, not my hole. Okay, so I'm gonna go try and do a nice low roller to get in there since I hopped over the hole. I'm surprised it's been two holes. I'm surprised I didn't get it in yet, considering that I continually chipped it in from distances on <laughs> these holes before. On with with regular holes, but details. <laughs> Alright, par 5. By the way, I also noticed that uh, her character stats not matching up to the uh, 
Like, look, look at this. Look, look. Well, I, wow, that's actually even further back than I thought. Oh, because <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, Herc, your stats are. Uh... Oh no, wait, I'm hitting through a tree, aren't I? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. But yeah, I don't think her stats matches the uh, player character that we've been raising either. Just like in general, like distances and stuff like that. So we're literally playing with a brand new character to us. <laughs> So I guess this is a lot newer than I thought it was going to be. Woo! Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was getting used to player stats, and, well, well, we kind of kind of aren't doing that now. I don't know her spin. I don't, oh, shoot, that's not good. I don't know her spin. I don't know her uh, curvature and, and the rollout and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's going to be going to be a little interesting to see what I can do with with her just blindly going about my business. <laughs> oh, jeez, that nine yard range got me there. <laughs> yeah, that went way, way farther than it normally would. But yeah, since the soap is flat, I can just kind of not even touch <laughs> the D-pad whatsoever on that. Okay, so I don't... because of the... Uh, her distances and probably the stats and stuff. Well, I mean, like, yeah, like the spin stats and whatnot. I don't think I'll be able to get the same low kinds of scores even with uh, making the conditions as easy as humanly possible. At, at least you can't. Oh, shoot, that's bad. <laughs> that went way off track even for a miss hit. So I guess uh, her little impact zone there is pretty, pretty highly affected by that. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's, yeah, that's not even making it to the... <laughs> I thought I would anticipate it deciding to go further, but no. Nope, it went shorter, basically. <laughs> uh, it might not matter that much. Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Uh, well, if I get it to bounce on the green, like landing it in front of the bunker, and then going dunk... Aha! <laughs> that's it. I guess you could say a recovery shot, but this is still for par, so not that much of recovery. <laughs> yeah, I think I would be slamming this if I was player, but eh, eh, we'll see how things go. Because I was still playing on the giant holes of pretty much that you could chip it in anywhere, so <laughs> I'm, I'm expecting that I'll get one somewhere along the line. Although, since I'm not, I don't have a straight shot and I'm always curving with a draw, that might be a bit of a factor as well, because I'm not going into the greens as straight as I'm feeling out. So, yeah. Uh, wait. I think I'm gonna have to go, like, yeah. Because I, I gotta anticipate the rollout and everything, but the wind's in my face, too, and... Uh, the wind actually did not affect the ball that much. If it, if it did where I was aiming for, I would have been, uh, probably in the hole. <laughs> The way that it bounced, it would just put one bounce into it. Anyways, now you can see why I'm going to be doing two rounds per uh, video here. With all, with all the side quests and dialogue and stuff like that, I found that the uh, actual rounds of golf go pretty quick. <laughs> like most of the, uh, this part probably up to this point was, oh, I didn't get it to pass there. Uh, but yeah, most of the... Uh, like the start of this video is not so much dialogue as me just thinking, hmm, what should I do with this free play mode? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to go for it. Yeah, chip. Might actually be able to make this in, actually. And go, baby, go! Into the hole! This looks good with the bouncy ball! Come on! Those holes are so big, I could jump in them and fit. <laughs> Uh, like, how, how is it possible that I'm not getting more chiffins with the giant holes, but I do plenty with the regular holes? It just is illogical. <laughs> Although, maybe not, because golf can never be mastered. You can never trust golf for a second that it's going to be easy, because golf is the hardest sport in the world. <laughs> and also Madden. Okay, this should go in. Based on the wind direction and my angle and good lie and stuff like that. Really? Are you see Why? Why didn't that... There isn't any slope on the green. The wind should have pushed it to the right. I don't understand. How could I possibly be missing such a hole? 
<laughs> uh, something tells me also when I get to the golf games, I'm just gonna find out like, oh yeah, that you you can't actually change the conditions of them because they're NES style. Oh, and I also noticed that Well Worn Grove here, they don't have those uh, replacement patches of grass. You know, when we uh, stole the grass from Cheeky Beak Peak. Yeah, it's got all those bare ground spots like that up ahead there. <laughs> so this is like pre-repair Well Worn Grove. Uh, before it was made ever, ever so slightly harder, I guess you could say, though not that much harder. <laughs> so this is really, truly the easiest course in the game! And what? Oh, come on. <laughs> this is just embarrassing. How could it... How could I not make it in holes that big? From, from such a close distance. <laughs> Alright, last hole. But can I... Do something sensational from a distance? I don't know about this one, actually. That's <laughs> that looks pretty ugly because of the whole, uh, you know, we've got a humongous pond if we took the direct route, and if we went aim for that island, that's pretty risky. If we go for the green at the angle, that will be a uh, that'll be a pretty dicey shot because we don't have that much green to work with. Well, watch. I'll, I'll probably just hold it just because I'm. I'm thinking, eh, it's probably not gonna happen. And then I, and then I just hold it just because. <laughs> That's fine though. I overhit that, but let's see if it makes a difference. Yeah, it didn't hold it. <laughs> That's just, it's just such a tight hole location to actually manage to get something that close in that area. I think that's why I had so, such difficulty trying to uh, uh, bury this before. Yeah! Okay, I'll, I'll count it as two chip-ins for the realm. And I guess one putt off the green. <laughs> Eight under par, all right. <laughs> with an unfamiliar character, with yet the easiest of conditions. So now where does this take me back to, anyway? Oh, the, all the way to the title screen, really. Does that mean I have to reset all the settings that I set up to... Mm, no, I don't think so. Well, anyway, we're gonna go for the strongest of the strong regular holes. I guess we can now try the vintage clubs, because that'll make things even harder, I think. I think it's just gonna give me all those older dealios. And let's begin uh, with the game uh, round two and see how much this makes a difference wise. Will I get the same character Joanne, or is it a character randomizer? Uh, looks like the same character. Okay, so yeah, we are playing with the little bitty ancient clubs of very low distances and lofts and stuff like that. So we'll see how things go. And I don't know how they manage to change the slope of the green, in all honesty, because how, how do you manage to even ever, like, change the slope of the green unless you completely remodel the green surface? But if you do that, then the, uh... Oh, that was good reading on my part. But yeah, if you do that, then you have to wait for the new green to grow in, and then you're out of business for a while. It's just it's just a disaster. So you can't can't do that all the time. <laughs> and you know with that heavy slope on the green, I bet you I'm gonna miss the hole on one of these putts. And it's just gonna roll right off the green. <laughs> Alright, so massive wind. I don't think this this wind is as high as it was when I was playing at uh, the Cheeky Beak Peak minigame. Oh, that, well, that's, uh, I guess that's more useful then. Even, uh, it's, it's still in the bunker, but maybe it's not as plugged. Huh? Uh, and it's also a little bit closer too, that's another thing. But yeah, the, I don't think the wind was, uh, I mean, even with this heavy wind here, it's not as high as it was at the Cheeky Peak Mountaintops for that one bullseye minigame, so... Yeah, maybe... Wow, that is a lot of slope. <laughs> because you just see when it hits the ground, it's just whoop right to the side. Uh, I, I can't see. I can't see. <laughs> mm, just overhead. Okay. Oh, there actually was a little bit of curvature in that, uh, even on that short distance. That's good to know. All right, next one, we're off, and Joanne will take us to victory. Wait, wouldn't it be a, wouldn't it be a kicker if I like got some, like I somehow managed to get even better on the harder conditions in score than eight under par somehow? <laughs> that, 
<laughs> that would just be ridiculous, but we'll see how that turns out, I suppose. I suppose it is possible that I could, but it's it's a lot more unlikely that that's uh, gonna happen. I could actually aim for the mole, but it's just gonna miss the mole because of the high wind. So, hello there, mole, and bye-bye, mole. <laughs> yeah, that's the little patch of garbage that I landed in in the last round, but I still, still was a little bit offline there. Alright... Oh man, that, that's a lot of everything. <laughs> Look at this, the, the slope and the wind, they're both in the same direction. So I think I'm gonna have to play it short and just kinda... Let her roll... Oh jeez! Okay, it stopped. We're, we're good. We're good, I think. So since we know that even with the short distances, the slope will affect it... I'll move it off to the side. <laughs> I guess I didn't hit it center enough. Alas, alas. Oh, jeez, that. Wow, that really is a lot of slope. <laughs> and that was a par 5, too. Those are, those are supposed to be the scoring holes. Alright. Here we go. Back to a par 4. <laughs> Which means we have a chance at a birdie better than we did at the par 5. Based on our scoring statistics. <laughs> of all things. Actually, I don't know if the game keeps stats on, it, on things like that, but. Oh, that's, uh, that did not go anywhere close to where I, was, where I was hoping for. I was expecting it to stop a lot shorter than that in that chunkier patch of fairway because of the rough, but nope. Uh, well, so much for my statistics. I don't think I'll make this green into with our ancient clubs. <laughs> All right, let's get it over to the next patch of fairway there. And then try our best to chip it in. No, probably, that probably will not happen with the wind and the heavy slope and stuff like that. If I couldn't do it with the ginormous hole, it sure as heck isn't going to happen with the regular holes and high wind. And... Oh, and actually on the last throne, the, the wind was at its low point too. Whoa, that... The wind did not take it anywhere close to as far down as I thought it would at 13. Weird. Okay, so I'm gonna try and chip it in though, because oh, that might be too much. <laughs> we'll see. Well, the pin helped. <laughs> if if that wouldn't have hit the pin, I would have been in mole territory. <laughs> okay, so it is definitely a little bit harder, maybe. Maybe with these conditions, because the wind is kind of making things a little unpredictable-ish. <laughs> we'll see if that'll, if I can get like used to that as I go. I'm pretty sure I'll end under par anyway. But oh, I, I did it again! Dang it! <laughs> well, well, it didn't matter last time if I kept being plopped in bunkers. Although before, I didn't, I, I wasn't using the ancient clubs, so. That might make that might actually make a difference, because <laughs> I, I like they, they don't seem to uh, resonate as well lie wise. And wow, jeez, the rollout of these things just way way too much. <laughs> Vintage gloves also definitely have a way of making things harder. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to aim right over there. Because otherwise, it looks like the tree is just gonna nick me into a disaster town. And that was a good play of the heavy slope. But can I make this putt of the heavy slope? I wouldn't count on it. E I did it! <laughs> I would probably be in the bunker if I missed. <laughs> but so far, I haven't putted it off the green. So far, but I bet ya. In future rounds, I most certainly will. Uh, oh, I can't actually make the green now. Because the wind's in my face, and I don't have the skimming woods. So for once, I actually cannot actually go over for the the green in one shot on this hole. This feels awkward. <laughs> and what? Okay, why is the wind taking it a lot further sometimes, but not other times? I mean, yeah, I know that angles play a part and stuff like that, but it's, it just seems so... Random. I don't know. I'm used to the angles in my... <laughs> I'm used to the angles of, you know, like reading the wind like that from Mario Golf and stuff like that from the upper right corner. 
Uh, unless the, the physics of the wind are just that much different from Mario Golf? But I don't know, I mean, it's felt like that I've nailed it at other times. Boink. Mm. Okay, now why did the... It, see, it looked like it was moving down before the, the slope even took it. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I do know that I am even par. Which means... This could be a scary outcome from the harder conditions. So I <laughs> Maybe I won't be able to get under par after all. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> there's, a, there's always that chance for the chip in, as you know. I don't know if I'll go for. Oops. I don't know if I'll go for under par under the hardest conditions. This, this is uh, just this quick play mode is just like, eh, you can play under your own conditions just for the heck of it if you'd like to. It's all up to you. You know, you don't have to. It's not like the, the story <laughs> or anything like that, I think. At least I don't think you'll unlock anything from playing stuff here. Who knows? There, there might be something. But for now, I'm just going to focus on just experimenting with the rounds, basically. Yeah, I'm gonna do just full shot and hope that it stays. That was a little under hit, but it should still be okay. Yeah, yeah, see the, the slope of the green, I think, may have taken it there. Or maybe the rollout of the ancient clubs, I don't know. And that curvature of her shot there, I think that is actually what's causing me to not chip it in as often as I have been. This is causing the, the that rollout angle to be ooh different than I'm expecting. Well, now at this point, I'll just putt it. But yeah, that's uh, it's just getting to me. <laughs> All these new things at once. <laughs> I've never played Well Worn Grow under these conditions. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, just think, we're playing the same course twice in a row, but you change the slope, you change the wind, you change the hole size, and look how different things are. <laughs> look at this tea area, too, how, how carved out it is for people's shots, it's pretty funny. Oh, that's, oh, hmm, I thought that was just bare ground, well, that's actually bunker, oh, oh, well. Now let's see what we can do about this. I got a lot of rollout with my clubs and a bunkers, or just in general, so I'm gonna try the driver out of it, which I would never do in real life. <laughs> it worked! Oh no, the slope! <laughs> the slope of the green, like I said, I'm, I'm probably just gonna end up putting it off the green one of these times, but that, that wasn't technically a putt, but it was pretty, pretty close to a putt, <laughs> based on that low trajectory. Alright, baby. Get in the oh oh oh! <laughs> so close, so close. I'll take it. <laughs> One more hole, and then I will call it a part. <sighs> Can we get under par? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, there's no way I'm reaching that little island with these clubs. <laughs> no way, no how. I don't. Well, actually, I don't know if the vintage clubs really make things that much more difficult, because I would eventually adjust to the lower trajectory, although it would make it probably a bit harder to get it to stop on certain areas, but I think I would end up getting used to that as well, uh, like over time if I kept using them enough, but for the, for the main majority of the walkthrough, I was doing a lot of... Uh, a skimming wood sort of dealios, for instance, to do all sorts of tricks that I wouldn't normally be able to pull off otherwise. Just trying to get as many shots in as possible. Oh, geez, that's, uh, well, oh, well I was gonna say maybe that'll go in anyway. And look, <laughs> even par. Hmm, I guess that's not that bad. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a decent start. Then it went a little downhill, and then it evened out. <laughs> but yeah, I don't, I don't know what they're saying success for. Just that success that I completed the round. I mean, I didn't get experience points, but but yeah, this is fun to try different combinations of stuff. So yeah, I think I'll continue doing that in the next part. So I hope you enjoy, and I will see you then.